Hi everyone, welcome to Cure Peep. It's not raining. Yes. It is a bit windy. So there's the Cure Peep Center. I actually want to get across there, but there's so much traffic. Uh, maybe we'll get it on the way back. Look at that massive Manju. It definitely says Noodle Express. And it's definitely clothing. Where's the Noodle Express, Rick? Uh-huh. There seem to be quite a lot of uh, Tulsidas shops. I think there's even a centre. Brian will show you. Here's another centre, San Shell Centre, with another sort of Tulsida thing. There's so many centres, but we're on the wrong side of the road for that. But Chinese walk. It looks like the Disney writing. <laughs> and it's also closed. I don't think it actually is closed. They've got some art on the wall, but it smells so good. We're just going to have a quick look. Well, it is up two flights of stairs, but here it is. And they've got the dragons on the front, so you know it's properly Chinese. Oh, let's go in and have a look. Oh, man, this place is really beautiful. It's well decorated and everything. Look at the tables, and I'm just going to take you over to the window to see what the view's like. I think that's probably the table you want to sit at, because you get these views over Cure Peep. Oh, yeah. Chinese wok menu. Yeah, some nice soups. And uh, traditional, he says the duck is amazing. The duck is amazing, there we are. And you get your meat dishes and then you pair them with some rice and noodles. And hot pots. They actually have hot pots here as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really beautiful looking place. That's cool, and it's like a little discovery in Kyopi. Uh huh. This line is actually really cool. I love the little one. His mom's paws on it, but he's, he's snuggled in there. The Chinese Mark restaurant it is open, you just have to go up all those stairs. <laughs> Royal College of Kyopi. But we're here for the arcades. I can't believe it, I got lost, but we finally found where we are, which is at the Royal College. And, and, we did a video on Cure Peep where we showed you more about the Royal College and stuff. I'll leave a, a card. A card. And okay. these guys. And these guys, we talked about these guys. We know all about them. We did a, a card, there's a card somewhere. We know. So that's the Kurumji Arcade. Which is pretty impressive and nice and modern and stuff. And the church, I think it's St. Teresa. That's a bit of a strange sight. A quicksilver all by itself. I wonder if there's more in the center, or if this is a center or what. There's gotta be. Yeah. Isn't there a song like Walking on the Ritz or something? Putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> they put it on here. <laughs> now we just need some pudding. Magazine ABC. Like in one of the old shops. That's selling new stuff. Well, you got some veggies on the side here as well. And there's something through there, we'll get there. I can definitely smell meat cooking. Oh man, you can smell this from a mile away. It's like a grill. They do chicken looking things. Oh, a bit like KFC, I would think. I think the smell's coming from here, the original taste. Place order inside for wrap and look at the size of that. Oh, sorry. Look how big that is. Chili. That is massive. Oh. Chili and cheese on a roll. Oh, man. Oh, oh, that is huge. Oh, he's got a machine that he just cuts it off with. This thing is huge. Huge. And look at the pile that he's making below. Because there is a long queue. There is a long, long queue for this. Oh man, it, it just smells so good. So it's chic kebab. That's where you can get that amazing food. And there's more biryani. They just chops all down here, but the smell just permeates the air. You get so hungry. My mouth is watering. We're gonna we're gonna have to stop and get something to eat soon, Rick. Well, there's a sign that it says, Welcome to the town of Cure Peep, guys. So you've officially been welcomed. This is one of my favorite buildings in Cure Peep. We'll see if we can't get a better angle on it. 
But it has these, it's, it's a shape. It was probably designed in the, what era is that, Rick? Art Deco. Art Deco. Oh, this is the Kia Peep Market. And how cool are the tops of these, those things we saw outside coming down? And tons of veg and things. Yeah, it's a proper market, full market. Walk around and enjoy. The Kia Peep Market is a bit different from other markets. It feels different. I think it might be because of the, the vibrant colors on the ceiling and stuff. Also, there's great airflow. Uh, so it's really nice and cool. This is the meat section. Oh, and look at all this beef. Oh, wow. Oh, bonjour. And of course, fish and chicken. The market, it literally does have everything, everything you need from a market. Meats, vegetables, uh, but I'm not seeing any, any foods. There must be a place where there's, you know, where they sell the Del Paris and things. Mm -hmm. eat the <laughs> That's not healthy, right? This looks like the flower section. Oh, and he's selling some, some other stuff there, chicken. Uh, but yeah, this looks like the flower market because they have lots of flowers and things. Oh, and this is where all the food should be. Hotel, sun snack, pub's place, all the snack shops. Only one of them seems to be open. Oh no, yeah, meal of the day, roti. <laughs> so this place is open. They got some biryanis and things. And Dalpuri is 16 rupees. Oh no way, biryani beef. Full mini or demi. Oh, it's pretty cool. I've never seen a small portion biryani. Oh, this place is cool. They've got a place inside that you can sit with the chili sauce and everything. Oh, I think you just opened the biryani pot. You can smell oh, it. Oh man. You can get the chicken for 50, but we got the beef. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's still a really big portion for 75. Well, we'll see what meat is in there. Wow. And it does smell great. Yeah, yeah. Ricky's gonna do it so we can see the bit of the beef. Yeah, so you get this lovely like onion salad on the side and this beautiful chunk of beef and a piece of potato. Oh, there's some more beef hiding in there. Oh, tons and it of beef smells in there. Amazing. I mean, this for me is. This is even too tons. big for you, yeah. <laughs> it's fresh, huh? Yeah. Oh, it smells so it's fresh. Fresh, fresh. Halal. Fresh halal meat. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Abdullah's is cool. Abdullah's Abdullah's snack. Abdullah's snack. Yeah. <laughs> Abdullah's snack is where the biryani is. So that beautiful beef in there, which everything is halal and fresh. Oh, and it smells amazing. And you can just break it apart like this. Shove it on your spoon. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. Mmm. Good beef mm -hmm. biryani. Mm -hmm. Let me give that potato a try. It's exactly like a big biryani, mm -hmm. but like our portion. A vlogger portion. A vlogger portion. <laughs> oh, so tasty. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm. And you got some uh, like cucumber. Looks mm. more like a pickle. Mm. Flatly pickled. Okay, light pickle. Go with the beef, the richness of the beef. Mm -hmm. Are you trying the chili there, Rick? Mm -mm. <laughs> I have to leave something to you. Uh, <laughs> He's just given us a little portion of chicken rice to taste. Yeah. <laughs> it looks amazing. It does, it looks... It's, it's got this like, real sauciness around it. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Good chickeny. Mm. It, it does look richer than the beef one. Chicken and spices. Really, really nice. Great biryani. There's chili on the table, but he's actually bringing us some special chili. Oh, oh wow. Thank oh, you. Oh, oh, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Oh, man. So I guess I have to try it with the chili then. Of course. A little bit of the chili. A little bit of the chicken, I think, to start. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that chili. Oh, that chili is hot. <laughs> oh, center of the island chili. <laughs> Proper cure peep chili. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, the biryani is so good. It is. The beef. All of it, but my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Have a cucumber. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But wow, that chili is hot. <laughs>
that was great. Proper vlogger size portion. Yeah. When you have to eat lots of little bits. Uh-huh. And it's perfect. Yeah, thanks guys for doing a mini biryani. A demi portion is such a good idea and it's like, wow. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Thank you so much. Now, now look at this. Uh-huh. Spiral staircase. I'm gonna go see if we can go up that. Have a look at this, spiral staircase. And Ricky filming me going up a spiral staircase. Oh, getting dizzy. Oh, okay, that's as high as you can go. But that's the view from up here. So we're not allowed to actually come up here. Oh, there's Ricky, tiny little Ricky down there. Oh, feels like the towers are moving, but it's the clouds. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the spiral staircase, you can get into the tower. Yeah. Uh, man, what a great... Oh, Wendy! And this is a, another part, you got guys selling all sorts of things here. And this is where you can get some... Oh, this is where you can get your Del Paris and things now. Oh, some great looking Del Paris in there. Classic. They have loads of queues here, and that's for the gato pimans and the samosas and things. But some guys making noodles here. Oh man, that is a massive pot of noodles. <laughs> oh wow. That is a lot of noodles. <laughs> oh, and it smells so good as well. Hungry people in Kyopit must, Kyopit must eat. Nice one, Rick. <laughs> and more queues. Everywhere you go, there's a queue. And it seems like we've stumbled into a clothing shop market. This feels like a clothing market. Obviously, it is. But it doesn't, it feels informal. It's got like a tent for a roof. Uh, it feels very much like the Goodlands one. So I wouldn't be surprised if half these people go to the Goodlands Market. It is lunchtime, so there are people queuing. But there's also the bus station right there. So people coming and going on buses are getting some food now. <laughs> cool, veggies on the stand. <laughs> and Kirpi has this absolutely beautiful garden right next to the market where you can come and sit and chill. And there's also like lots of uh, statues and things. Oh, the sun's just come out, so it looks a lot better. You do get these great vestiges of like 1950s architecture, like glass bricks and rounded buildings and things. Well, it's a little bit windy and a little bit rainy, but the sun's out at least. But can you believe it's raining? Oh. 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 Fruit cups, the pineapple take, and the chili. Uh, take, take one for you. No, not for me, thank you. This is probably a main part of Cure Peep because they've got undercover because it rains here so much. But there we are, Island Hayes separated from its buddy across the road. Yeah, this is what Cure Peep's all about. These little arcades where you get all sorts of shops. And you go down an alley and it's all inside somewhere. And you get completely confused about where you are. Some great shops in here. So, Andrew, oh, we can get some suits. So they actually make suits here. Yeah, we make suits and measure materials. So you can get all the material and you'll actually make your suit. How long does it take? Normally we get this 24 hour service there, right? 24 hour service? Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, so this is what makes yeah, Kiwi Peep, is these... Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we just had some briyani. <laughs> I think it's like a grid pattern, like a town, because there's another alley down there, and there seems to be, it, it's like undercover, like a town, a grid mm -hmm. pattern. It's, it's all square with shops on the sides, and, and ups and downsies. That makes sense, ups and downs. Under a building. Well, under a building, look. There's more. 
It just carries on. There's so much stuff here. And good news. Bucketing with rain outside. Completely dry in here. Uh -huh. And more clothes. And look, in the middle there, there's a park. A little bit of a park. I'd go into it, but it's raining. And that's open to the air. And more shops. And this place is huge. Oh, there's a stairway. Yeah, and look at it. That is awesome with those tiles on it. Mosaic. And it, it does genuinely continue in the grid pattern. But I can't see we're going to be able to get out soon. Because we have been lost here for a little while. Um, yeah. <laughs> No, we haven't. We just ran into some fans from Australia. <laughs> oh, these are beautiful roses for your hair. They've got some great stuff in here, Pete. This building was probably from the 50s and the mosaic is all around. Because you can see it everywhere. It is unfortunately um, coming off. But it really is real mosaic. Uh-huh. Awesome. And now that passing cloud has passed, momentary blue sky, and here comes the next one. An important thing to note in Kyrpeep now is there's zoned parking. Yes, so you have to buy tickets, I assume still at a petrol station. At probably. a petrol station. So it's like Port Louis, yeah. you have to pay for parking. Zone one, zone two, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we made it onto this side of the road. As you can see, Chinese walk over there. They have that upset. Oh, yeah. And there are more shops here, but I'm trying to find the, the, the centers. Oh, and they're selling stuff on the side. Oh, awesome. Flowers. Oh, wow. Hi. She's selling some flowers. This is Marie Claire. She's the one with the flowers. Look at these flowers. But look at this. It is coconut with sugar coconut. And peanuts. Like that. Oh. <laughs> with peanuts yeah oh wow they look so good yeah. and also they've got some french pastries yeah. um, some cheese, some cheese. yeah so this family is making this stuff at home and selling it here in Kirby. awesome oh wow so it's like a whole family business yeah. <laughs> mother and two daughters so you're the two daughters oh. <laughs> and the mom and they're over here near the Chinese wok, which you can see across there. Peanut, and this is coconut and orange. Coconut and orange, wow. Coconut, orange. coconut this is a vanilla, and this is plain coconut. There's no flavor. Okay. Yeah. Wow, those are lovely. And you make them yourself? Yeah, we have wow. my mom. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Is that you? Uh-huh. <laughs> this is the center. Also mini center. There are. You just walk around and then there's another center. This one has an escalator going up. I'm not sure to where and I'm not sure how to get back down so I'm a little bit skeptical about going up it. And there's a second floor as well. And it's, it's actually really nice here. <laughs> okay, so up the escalator. It says second floor but this is the first floor. So I think, I think yeah, you have to go somehow get to the second floor somehow. And there are more shops here. It all looks like clothing. Okay, although there are a lot of these arcades and things, you don't often see toilets. This one actually says a sign for toilets. Okay, so that is like more important even than parking in here, people. There's a toilet here, yeah? 10 rupees. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually seen an Infinity 18 that's actually open. And there, there's nothing really here. Oh, it's a mirror. It's me and a mirror. I thought, I thought we were looking at, at, the, at, at another one on the other side. That's how clean that mirror is. Oh wow! Ah, oh, it's it's. I suppose it's like lingerie and stuff. Tables, tables and chairs. Oh, there's a burger and shake here, which is closed, unfortunately. Okay, the second floor is manual. It has a manual escalator. They're called stairs now. <laughs> Ricky didn't think that was very funny, but I. Anyway, so there is more up here. Second floor, and it looks like there's even more. You can go even higher up. We'll have a look in a second. And this is it. This is the next floor up. They have loads of other things here. Uh, oh, this is where they do the tailoring for the for the tall cedars people downstairs. And a wellness center. And the guys are obviously cleaning up here. And beauty place. 
But from here you can look all the way down to the escalator. Oh well, looks like you can't go up any further. I suppose that's roof access only. It's been explained. It's not actually a Friday, it's a Thursday. And at about one o'clock here in Kyopeep and at Rose Hill, they're normally close to the people who go to Port Louis and bus stop. Ah, explained. Mm -hmm. We have <laughs> 10 minutes. Massive Manju. It's huge. But then there's another center just here. And here they've got a kebab chicken. Okay, they've got a picture of the big kebab and they've got fried chicken. Oh, and it's almost finished. Kebab and chicken actually do a grilled chicken for 100 rupees with chips. This is the Kyo Peep Center. So another center and they, they, they really do look good and they all have upper stories and they've really been trying to make these modern little centers. Uh, escalator, it's automatic, it will start when I get on it, but I also, again, can't see a way back down. So there's shops up there, guys, there are, I promise. <laughs> oh, and cool light. And over there is this uh, Sik Yuan supermarket, and they have a parking behind them that you can, if you go and buy something at the supermarket, you can get 90 minutes for free. We're gonna test it, except we've been a lot longer than 90 minutes. Up the escalator. They got this cool design. Uh, it doesn't look like a light, but it probably is. And in the floor, I had to come up here to show you this light. It's like made out of crystals. Oh wow. And then they have the pattern down below as well. Oh, the stairs are, are stairs, and it's got all these mirrors on both sides. Well, I can almost see myself infinitely. <laughs> oh wow. Well, there's lots of me. Scary, let's go. Yeah, he has a shopping center and I, I have to show it to you because I took their parking and we have been walking around Pure Peep. So, um, let's go have a look at what it looks like. They say no filming inside, but this is it. It's actually a way shopping center. So it's one of the ways. This is the parking for the, 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 that, that name I can't pronounce, but it's the way shopping center up there. So you park there and if you go shop there, they stamp it and you can uh, park for free. Otherwise, you have to pay 125 rupees. Kira Peep, it's not going to rain all the time, but it is going to rain. Uh, but you can avoid it by going into those wonderful arcades. It's awesome, an arcade, and then the sun comes out, you're walking on the street again. Yeah, great place to visit, awesome town. Uh huh. You're getting that fly. <laughs> Probably, and the rain. Yeah, I'm not getting any of the. I've just made it worse. That's the metro. We actually saw it running, but I don't think it comes here yet. Maybe Coming they were soon. testing it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so cute, Peep. It is. <laughs> right, Mauritius. Kira Peep is the last of the big towns in the center of the island. Just Easy to find. <laughs> Head for the um, thingy Doppler, on radar. Top, Doppler radar on top of Troy de Surf. Wow, cure peep. Rain or shine, it's always a good day to visit. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.